Hey folks, Wes here. Uh, hopefully I'm in frame. Uh, I guess today, Sunday, September 29th, is the uh, it's a record show here in town. And uh, it was kind of unexpected. First record show in town in about 18 months. It hasn't been one in a while. I thought, I thought it was over with and uh, then it was just came up and so it's uh, only a couple blocks away from home so I'm walking, got my bag here and uh, let's go see what we can find. Okay, we're back. So as you see, you had a fun little walk over to a record show right here, a couple blocks away, right here in town, which is really cool. It was a fun little event. Sorry I didn't get more footage from inside the inside the show. It was kind of dark and kind of busy, and I was just ready to get home. So, but yeah, it was it was a fun little show. Uh, as I said, I only spent around thirty dollars, which was good. Exactly thirty dollars is what I spent. Tried to be a little bit, bit conservative since the Orlando record show is this weekend and that's a really big show and definitely wanted to save my money for that for that show. So there were some things there that I would like to have had but just uh, passed on just based on, on uh, being able to save money for this, this show this weekend. So let's go ahead and get into it. I got some upgrade copies, I got some filler copies, and I got some new stuff. And let's go ahead and get into it. Let's first This first stack here... Uh, are all from first booth I looked at. It was a, a seller that was selling all records were a dollar, so everything here is a dollar. Uh, first thing I got here is the Woodstock soundtrack. This is an upgrade copy. Pretty nice, pretty nice condition copy. Uh, mine is mine is pretty well beat. That's you know you see this one a lot, but it's really almost always pretty beat. And this one's this one's in really nice condition, so I was glad to pick that up for a buck. Bronski beat Age of Consent. I know this one's on my Discogs wish list, um, but I can't remember if I picked it up recently or not. I I couldn't remember, so for a buck, grab another, grab one of those. I think I might have gotten that at some point, or it might have been another Bronski Beat album. I'm not sure. Next, so we got a two LP live album. It's called Reggae Sunsplash '81, a tribute to Bob Marley. A bunch of cool uh, reggae bands on here, so that'll be a cool live set. Uh, Santana's Festival. I oh, know. Definitely one of the Santana albums I didn't have, so it was cool to find that one. Uh, yes, 9012 Live, the solos. That's a gold stamp promo copy. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of 9012, the album, but I thought I'd go ahead and give this one a try. Roxy Music's Manifesto. I have a few Roxy Music albums in the collection, and I like them. I like them okay, just wanted to sort of hear all their albums at some point. Because uh, I know a lot of people really love Roxy Music. They're a pretty cool band. A uh, compilation by The Who. This is called Hooligans. Uh, 
Uh, we have Yes with Yes Songs. This is a, an, another compilation, sort of hits kind of thing. Uh, three LP set and a picture book. Uh, pretty cool. Most people have probably seen this. But it has a you know, giant four-way gatefold kind of thing. So lots of Roger Dean artwork and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here's a really cool find for a buck. Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. It takes two LP. This is a, this is the full album. Uh, really cool find for a buck on that. Another one from The Who. This is called Who Are You. Didn't have this one either. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Uh, we have an album from Dead or Alive called Nude from 1989. Uh, it's pretty late, but I don't know. I don't know if this is any good or not, but for a buck I will definitely give it a try. And the last one from the dollar seller is Stephen Stills' Manassas. Uh, one I didn't have. Definitely like Stephen Stills, so want to hear this one at some point, so grab that for a buck. Okay, moving on. Here's one I got for $3. This is Nectar with Down to Earth. I recently listened to Tab, of, Tab in the Ocean for the first time and really enjoyed it. Uh, so I grabbed this for three bucks. Pretty cool, so it'll be interesting to hear some more uh, Nectar at some point. Alright, this next one was the most expensive one I bought at the show. This is uh, $7. It's Tangerine Dream Live from 1977. Actually, it was recorded in March of 1977, in the month I was born, so this was being more made right when I was being made, or being born, I guess. <laughs> so you got uh, Cherokee Lane, Moonlight, Coldwater Canyon, and then Desert Dream. Four, four pieces that take up one side of the record each. Um, just love this, love this early electronic, uh, you know, not, not dance electronic, but really composed electronic music. Really cool stuff, so... That was a cool find. The guy I bought this from actually knew knew some of the band members, so that was cool. And he said he was part of a owned a record label at some point. Next up, we have uh, this was five dollars. A common one I see people find all the time, and it just never seems to turn up for me. At, you know, the Goodwills or the dollar bins or anything. And I found this one in shrink for five bucks, so I grabbed it. This is Mahavishnu Orchestra, Birds of Fire. Mahavishnu Orchestra is John McLaughlin, Jerry Goodman, Billy Cobham, Ian Hammer, and Rick Laird. And the last album I got at the show, this is another dollar find, but not from that first seller from another dollar bin. This is uh, Spirit. It's a two LP set, um, sort of a compilation like Almond Brothers Beginnings. This has the albums. Uh, so the first one is just a self-titled Spirit album, and the second one was called Clear. So it's just, you know, two two albums packaged into one double LP set and I don't have either one of those from Spirit so very cool so I thank you for watching my uh, my record show haul video from the Gainesville record show for this year um, like I said cool little small show uh, it was fun to go to really really easy to just walk right over there and shop around for a bit and it was fun so we got uh, Another record show coming up this weekend and uh, the book sale coming up later this month. So it's going to be a busy month. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so you'll get to see more in the future. And see you again soon. Cheers. All right, so headed home. Bag full of records here. Didn't spend too much. Uh, spent $30 exactly, actually. Uh, didn't, didn't have a beer or anything. Just bought records. Spent mostly uh, dollar records, but... Yeah, so let's uh, go home and see what we got. Pretty cool stuff. See you in a minute.